All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to optimize your fire stick in case you have any buffering or lagging with the stick itself. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do, uh, as you see, we're right here at the home screen, is go all the way to the right to the settings menu. See the little person with the gear icon? Go ahead and click on that. Now, you wouldn't believe how many people don't update their fire sticks. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to go check for updates on the fire stick. So you go to about and then check for updates. And of course, the path to that is my fire TV about and then click on check for updates. As you can see here, we're all up to date on this fire stick. After that, I'm going to go want to check on the storage that we have. So you go back into about under my fire TV and look at the storage. Here we are at 2.56 gigabytes of 5.28 available. Now, if you're overloaded, you have too many apps, you go back into applications and the settings and you're going to go down to managed installed apps. As it shows you here, it shows you your internal space. In this setting, you can go through and clear out cash on a lot of your apps. Uh, like we'll go down to my soy app right here and, and clear the cache or you can delete the app itself so you're going to have want to go through all your apps that you use regularly and clear out the cache and, and that will help speed up uh, some of the processes and it will uh, cut down on your buffering as well now let's say you have apps on there that you don't use at all you simply go in and just uninstall them and that will help free up some space, especially if you're overloaded. If you're out of space, go through here and start deleting some apps. Now, you won't be able to delete the apps that Amazon has on there. Uh, so don't worry about those. You can disable them as you go, uh, but you won't be able to delete the apps that Amazon has. And as you can see, just deleting that one, we freed up a little bit of space. After that, you're going to want to go to Preferences. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn off a lot of stuff on here. Uh, nothing in parental controls. We're going to start at privacy settings, uh, open up privacy settings, manage sharing from apps, turn that off. Boom. There we go. And we're just going to go through the list here, down every single, every single option, and we're going to turn as much stuff off as we can. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to stop some of the background processes from happening, which will optimize the fire stick to work a little faster. Because anything that is not being used uh, to communicate back and forth with uh, external Google devices or Google data will help optimize and improve the, um, the optimization of the stick. So as you can see, so I'm just going through everything, notification settings, and clicking on each one and do not interrupt. I turn that off. Uh, app notifications. Turn off everything. Like I said, just go through your preferences and start turning off everything that you can. Come back through featured content. Allow video autoplay. Turn it off. Allow audio autoplay. Turn it off. Turn off everything. Once we have this turned off, a uh, quick recommendation if you wanted to. If you have the storage available, if not, don't download it. I like having a background app uh, program on here. That's just me. Uh, do not disable Alexa voice layer if you do that. But as you can see, I have nothing running in the background. If you had apps running, it would show you here. You can go in and do a four stop and, and close them out. But that's just extra. If you don't have the space, don't do it. Uh, the next thing that I'd recommend for everybody to do is have a speed test done. Now, I have a speed test on the app itself, on the Fire Stick. Do not run the speed test from your mobile device or from your computer. Run it from the device, whatever you're watching on. If it's a Google box or an Android box or your Fire Stick, definitely always have it there. As you can see, we're running pretty decent speed, and, it, and it's telling me. Now, what I've noticed in the past is... I've had um, friends or customers, I'll go on their device and I'll run a speed test and it's in the garbage. It's like four, five, seven megabytes a second. And then all I've done is just changed over from their 
2.4 gigahertz connection over to the 5 gigahertz connection or vice versa and it instantly improved the um, the speed because sometimes what happens is is you have everybody in the house running off of you know your 2.4 and it's just clogging it up if every phone that you have and everybody's watching something they're all on the 2.4 well then switch over to the 5 gigahertz especially if the stick is close to the router and that's another thing if you're in the back bedroom or you're two flights away and you're not close to the router well that's going to be a problem and you might want to look into getting a range extender the other thing I recommend is once you've done all these processes, go ahead and stop right now and turn off the fire stick. Actually, unplug it from the wall. You can leave it plugged into the TV, but unplug it from the wall. After you've unplugged it from the wall, go ahead and unplug your router. Unplug the router and let each of them sit for a little over a minute. Once that's done, plug them all back in, and that basically does a hard reset which clears out a lot of the static electricity and cache within the router. Talking of routers, if your routers look like these next couple of routers coming up, it might be time for a replacement. That can also really hamper your speeds. Uh, make sure you're using up-to-date hardware as well. And that should do it for our video today, folks. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.